Hi, I'm Brian with ericssontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss the basic unit of cellulose. Um, cellulose is a, a long chain of glucose molecules um, with a basic chemical structure um, that just gets expanded upon. Uh, cellulose is a form of D-glucose. Um, it has a chemical structure of C6, H10, O5, um, and the N here simply means that it can re be repeated for however many number of times it needs to be repeated. Um, it can last from, it can stretch hundreds to thousands, up to 10,000 glucose molecules long. Um, the basic look, um, if you want to look at a actual diagram of the chemical, um, this is sort of what it looks like. You have this main um, ring type structure in the middle. Here are your six carbons um, forming sort of the main section. You have an oxygen here inside the ring and an oxygen here on the outside. Um, and then the remainder is filled up by hydroxyls, which is OH groups. Um, you'll also notice that I, I said there's 10 hydrogens. I've only drawn three. Um, the remainder are on these carbons. I just didn't put them there because it muddies up the picture and makes it harder to see. Um, so cellulose is, is, is a little bit different because the way that it forms these chains, it's a straight chain as opposed to starch, which is also made of glucose. Um, starch is not straight. It has a bunch of kinks in it. Um, so as cellulose stretches out in these long chains, um, the oxygens, um, tend to form hydrogen bonds with these hydroxyl groups on neighboring chains, making a nice tight bundle um, called microfibrils. And that allows cellulose to give plants and, and plant leaves in particular uh, their rigidity and strength. That was a discussion of the, the basic unit of cellulose.